Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to prepare for the exam. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 291, quantitative comparison question, number 15, the very last one. Very last one. Just, uh, just a reminder that the exam that you're holding in your hand, the book that you're holding in your hand, it contains seven exams, but seven exams based on the old-fashioned paper and pencil exam, where all the questions used to be arranged in the order of difficulty. The higher the number, the more difficult the problem. Here, they give you 15 quantitative comparison questions. That tells me that on a scale of 1 through 15, this question that we are about to do is considered, is supposed to be, supposedly, the most difficult problem which is just as well because only only 32%, less than third of the people who took the exam got this question right, less than a third, more than two thirds, 68% missed it. Let's see what happened, what, let's see what's going on here. It says the length of a rectangular garden is increased by P percent. The length, I'm going to read it again one more time, it is important that you have the book in front of you. Do not depend on my reading the problem to you, you must have the book in front of you and you must try to solve these questions before you start watching the video. So if you have not done it already, pause the bloody thing, do the problem yourself, even if you struggle with it, do it yourself, or get acquainted with the problem before you actually watch the solution. Because otherwise uh, it's too late. Once, 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 the, 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 once the solution, you, you watch the solution, then of course uh, it's a bit too late to, to try it on your own because you know already by then what's going on. Because you learn more by doing it yourself, and even if you get it wrong, you still learn more by doing it wrong than you would by watching somebody else do it properly the first time. Do you understand? Anyway, enough of the talk. The length of the rectangular garden is increased by P percent. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a rectangle gar a rectangular garden. Okay? Here is my garden. And I'm going to plug in values for the dimensions, the length and the, length and the width. What should I plug in? You can plug in anything you want. Having said that, there are certain numbers which are smarter number than the other numbers in a given situation. For example, if I'm dealing with a problem that deals with hours and minutes, good numbers to be plug in, or good numbers to plug in would be multiples of 60. If I'm dealing with a problem that deals with inches and feet, good numbers to plug in there for variables would be numbers that are multiple of 12. Well, you get the idea. Here I'm dealing with problem that deals with percentage. It is dealing with the concept of percentage. A good number to plug in when you're dealing with a percentage problem are numbers, not a good number, but other the good numbers to plug in when you're dealing with, with a problem that deals with the concept of percentage are numbers that are multiples of 100, obviously, common sense. You understand? So I'm going to make up, let's, let's pretend that the length is 200 and I'm going to pretend that the width is 100. Let's see what happens. So the, what they're telling me is that I'm going to increase my length by p percent but they do not tell you what p is yet okay and then they also go on to tell me that the width i'm going to decrease it by p percent so so down the road down the road my 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 rectangle will look something like this because i'm i'm decreasing the width and increasing the length so i'm i'm, I'm elongating it i'm taking it and i'm stretching it so now it's longer but not as wide so I'm increasing the length by p percent and I'm decreasing the width by the same percentage, whatever the percentage happens to be. In the first column they tell me that that percentage is p, p that percentage p is 10. So let's do it here. Here's my column a. So if I increase the length by p percent is 200, 10 percent of 200, 10 percent because they, they, they tell me that p equals 2 in the first column. 10 percent of 200, I hope you, I, I hope you know that 10 of 200 is 20. So this, this, this goes from 200, this length become, goes from 200 to 220. And the width is decreased by 10%, same percentage. I'm going to increase the length by 10%, I'm going to decrease the width by 10%. So if I decrease the 100 by 10%, it becomes 90. That's my first column. Here's my second column. Okay, pay attention. In the second column, they tell me that P happens to be 20. 
P happens to be 20. And immediately some people might jump their gun and say, well, since P is 20, uh, then of course uh, uh, you will have a larger percentage increase because you are you're increasing the length by 20% now. Well, let's, let's not jump our gun. One thing I do know for a fact, one, th one thing I do know for a fact before I finish solving the problem is that at the end of the day, the answer is not going to be D. It's going to be some number. It cannot be D. It cannot be uncertain. It has to be either A, B or C. So don't pick D in a situation like this. We're dealing with solid numbers here. There has to be an answer. The area of the new triangle, new garden, if P is 20. So here, I'm going to increase the length by 20%. We already know that 10% of 200 is 20, therefore 20% 20 of 200 should be 40. So 200 becomes 240. And the 100, I'm going to decrease by 20%, which becomes 80. There you go. I'm going to put a line here so that we can keep the separate. Now all I have to do is just compare the two numbers, that's what it is. All I have to do is compare the two numbers. Notice how I said it. Notice how I said it. I did not say, I did not say all I have to do is compute the two numbers. All I have to do is compare the two numbers, quantitative comparison. I hope by now you should get the idea, which is exactly why I write down the word computation and then cross it out for emphasis. These are not about computation, so here I go. I'm going to first do it without explaining too much and then I'm going to redo it, if you like, uh, slowly, if I have the time. I'm going to go in the back of the camera, I'm going to see if I have the time, and then I'm going to do it one more time slowly. So here we go. If I divide both columns by 10, that drops out this zero. If I divide both columns by 10 again, it drops out this zero. In other words, if I were to divide this column by 100 and this column by 100, these two zero, uh, zeros drop out. Now I'm going to change the color for emphasis. It's, a, it's got a green, green cap with a different color inside. Okay, now, now here, watch here. I see a 22 and I see a 24. Let's divide both sides by, let's divide both sides by, by 2. So this becomes 11. Oh, this is very hard to read. I divide 22 by 22 by 2, it becomes 11, and 22 by 2, it becomes 12. I see a 9 here, and I see a 12 here. Let's divide both sides by 3. If I divide both sides by 3, 9 becomes a 3, and 12 becomes 4. So what am I left on this side? I'm left with 11 times 3. That's all I'm left here, 11 times 3. What am I left on this side? I, I'm left with 8, 4 times 8. Bring this 8 down, so, so that you don't forget it. This 8 comes down, and I'm left with, that's it. So here I have 4 times 8, which is 32, and here I have 11 times 3, which is 33. That's all we are done. This is 32, this is 33. The answer is A. Voila, that's it. That's all it is. Let me take a look at the uh, time in the back, as I said. And if I have the time, I'm going to... Just give me a second. I'm 8 minutes into it. Since I have a couple of minutes, I'm going to redo this work here, so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so in one column I had, in one column we increase it by 10%, it becomes 220, 200 becomes 220, decrease this 100 by 10% becomes 90, and the other column, we increase this 200 by 20%, 10% 20 of 200 is 20, 20% 20 of 200 will be 40, so it becomes 240. And I decrease the width by 20%, so 80 becomes, uh, 100 becomes 80. Now, if you were to divide both columns by 100, can I divide, can I do that? Of course, why not? Why not? For example, for example, if you ask me which number is bigger, 500 or 400, I could actually just compare 500 and 400, except like the way it is, or I could divide both columns by 100, and I will still get the same answer. Earlier, you would have, you would have said that 500 is more than 400, now you're going to tell me, that five is more than five is more than four. Of course, I can divide both columns by the same number. It's not going to change anything. So I'm going to divide both columns by 100, and that's how I got rid of this zero and this zero, these zeros here. Okay, but I did not show this bottom part here because we are, you know, we are, we're not we're not school children. And then I divided both sides by two. If I divide both sides by two, 22 becomes 11, 24 becomes 12. Then I divided both sides by 3 because I see a 9 and I see a 12. They have something in common. So let's do it. This becomes 3 and this becomes 4. So 4 times this 8 I have left over, which is 32, and then 11 times 3 is 33. That's all. And of course 33 is more than 32. That's all it is. That's it. We are done. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get, if you wish to get hold of me for 
personal private tutoring. I do face-to-face -face personal private tutoring. I tutor through the internet, through through Skype over the internet, uh, and I also, of course, uh, to uh, do the tutoring over the phone. If there is anything at all that I can help you with in your preparation for the GRE, go to my website at www.prep p r e p prep f o r four GRE.com and send me an email. All right. Or you can go to www.keshwaniprep.com. Okay. Thank you. I hope you found this helpful.